Problem 19. The sum of 25 consecutive even integers to 10,000, what is the largest of these consecutive integers? So let's assume that the first integer within the series is x. If the first series is x, then what is the next term? Well, they're even, right? So let's assume this x is 2. Then it will be 4, then it will be 6, and etc. So every, uh, every even number is separated by the next even number with 2. So that means we must add this with x plus 2. We must add this with what? x plus 4, right? Because why? This must add 2 to get to x plus 4. Then likewise, we get x plus 6, and then we get all the way onto how many? Well, we, let's rewrite this x. This x is the same thing as x plus 0. Now notice, let's just focus on the constant that we add each term with. It's 0 to 2 to 4 to 6. The 0 represents the first term, right? The second represents the, the, the second term. So the second term. This represents the third term. This re represents the fourth term. But what can we rewrite each number as? Well, that's 2 times 0. That is 2 times 1. That is 2 times uh, 2. Times two right? And that is 2 times 3. So the idea here is 2 times n, what term is 2 times n? Well, the term number is just n plus 1, right? So that means if we want the 25th term, then what, what does that mean? That means that um, we go all the way into etc, etc, etc when we get um, the 25th term, right? And the 25th term must be from the same pattern, 2 times 24, which is equal to 48. So that means this has to go to 48, and this represents the constant that x is added with. So you must add this to 48. And this sequence must be equal to 10,000. So now that we have this formula, what do we do? Well, how many x's are there? Well, we obviously know that there are 25 x's. So simplify and get 25x. But what about the constant? The constant is, this, is the arithmetic series of 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus all the way until 48. So what is this sum? Well, that sum is the first, so the nth term in arithmetic series is the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference of d. So this is equal to 0 plus n minus 1 times 2, which is equal to 2n minus 2, where n starts with being equal to 1, that's 0, n is equal to 2, that gives 2, and etc. If this must equal 48, that means 2n is equal to 50, therefore n is equal to 25. So that means the sum of this entire thing, if I scroll down to give us some space, the summation formula is equal to the first term plus the nth term times the number of terms divided by 2. In this case, the first term is 0 plus 48 times the number of terms, which is 25, divided by 2 will give us 24 times 25. Now, 24 times 25, you can just multiply it out, and that would be 150, so that's equal to 600. So that means 25x plus 600 must give me what? Must give me 10,000. What is 10,000 minus 600? Well, 25x will be equal to 0049, 9,400. So x, if we divide 5 on both sides, it's 5, and then 1880, which is 376. So our answer will be 376. And what are we trying to solve for? What is the largest? Well, the largest is 376 plus 48, which is equal to 4, right? And then 4. A24. 424, so your final answer will be choice E.